Okay guys, it's been a long time since I uploaded anything. I think it was about four months ago. And the last time I uploaded something, it was about this bike. Uh, the Giant Revolt Advanced One. It's a 2022 model. And I guess I was bemoaning uh, the low level components and things on there. And I actually got a bit of a kicking in the comments. People complaining about me. Apparently these days you're not allowed to complain about things. You can only say the positive things about bikes and uh, components and things like that. That's the way I feel. I think it was unwarranted. Anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to really show you the upgrades that I've done to this. It's only a few. I've only upgraded a few things on this bike. But I think they are key things for me anyway, and they make a whole heap of difference. If you remember, I had a dropper post on here and I just, I, I didn't need it. I wasn't using it. I'm not doing gnarly enough kind of gravel rides, you know, and uh, going down mountains and things like that on this. And so I don't need it. I don't need the seat to be out of the way, the saddle out of the way. And so uh, this is one of the first things that I changed. And this seat post is a 30.9 millimeter. It's the same as what the dropper post was. Um, and it's by a company called XLC. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. I've never heard of them before, but it was really, really cheap. Uh, I got it from Bike24, who are based in Germany. And it was like 14 euros something. 14, like just under 15 euros. And I, and I picked that up anyway, and it's really sturdy, well built, uh, it just feels nicer. I know it's going to sound strange, but feels more comfortable. Uh, with, the, with the dropper posts, the, the head used to move a little bit, you know, this area of it on the dropper post. So I, I never felt comfortable on it, it was always moving. Um, so. Anyway, that was one of the things that I replaced at a really cheap price. Uh, if you remember the handlebars, they were Ritchie Evo Curve or something like that. I can't remember. I, I'm probably wrong. But they were in a 42 centimeter. And the, the tops were just like so wide up here, you know. And with the tape on as well, I could hardly get my hands around them. It was really uncomfortable for me. And so I've changed now these bars. They, these are a salsa cow chipper, I believe they're called. And these are in a 38. So, you know, uh, a lot better for me. I, I, I don't have wide shoulders. And the flare, the flare on the bars, you know, when it's coming out is like 24 degrees. So it's really, you know, wide on the drops. And I didn't think I would like that, actually. I was just experimenting, but I really do. I find it really comfortable if I ever go in the drops, which I, I don't, I'm not one of those people that does that much, but when I do, it's really comfortable. And so I like that. And I like the width. So I saved some weight on the bars. I've forgotten how much it was, but it was a little bit. Uh, on the seat post, the seat post was, um, what was it now? 257 grams for that new seat post. That's how much it weighed. I'm not a weight weenie, by the way. I just like weighing things. Uh, that Yeah, so the new post is 257 grams and the old dropper post was 490. So I think, you know, I've saved about 233. I think it is 233 I worked it out as. So 233 grams saved there. Is only a handful of grams on the handlebars, but it's something. Um, and what else did I change? Ah, uh, yeah, I've changed the wheels. If you remember, this bike came with PX2, giant PX2 wheels, and they were heavy. They were around two kilograms. I thought they were more than that, but when I weighed them, they were just shy of two kilograms. And these, these wheels now, these are uh, elite wheels, uh, the drive, so far, I've only had them a couple of weeks and 
they seem you know they seem pretty good they've they're stiff though i i don't think if you're doing uh really rough or if you're on rough terrain i don't think they're the best thing for that they're too stiff in my opinion but anyway i'm happy with them so far but like i say i've only had them a couple of weeks and only done about four or five rides so i can't really say much at the moment you know but I have saved around 600 grams, just under 600 grams there. So we're already on 800 and something. So, you know, it's a, it's a good bit of weight to lose from your bike. And it's made all the difference. And also the tires I've changed. If you remember, I had, what was it? Pirelli uh, Cinturato M's. And they are, I got nothing against those tires. They're great. I did over 6,000 kilometers on them. Uh, they're, but they're really chunky. I did 6,000 kilometers on them and they're hardly worn. I reckon you could do another 4,000 kilometers on them before they're dead. They're just amazing. I've never seen such hard wearing tires and I rode those everywhere. You know, on road, off road, r like really gravelly rides and uh, even rocks and things like that at times. And uh, they just, they're just still going and I will use them again. But where I'm living at the moment, there isn't that much in the way of gravel trails. So I'm doing a lot on the road. And I wanted a tire that would be good for off-road because there is some, you know, and a little bit of gravel and I have to go on gravel and rough concrete to get out of the city, you know. So I wanted something that could handle that, but also uh, smooth tarmac roads. Well, they're not smooth, I shouldn't say that. I haven't, I haven't been in a country where this, the roads are smooth yet. And these are the Challenge Getaway tyres. And these are in a 45C, the same as uh, the um, Cinturato M's, Gravel M's. They were 45 as well, 45 millimetres wide. Uh, they come up to about 46 uh, mounted on the wheels, just over 46. Um, yeah, so I, I've dropped weight on the tires as well, you know, maybe a hundred grams or something. So I think in total with this bike, with all the changes that I've done, there's not that many. What is it? One, uh, two, three, four. Oh, and I got new bar tape as well. I had to have that because if you remember, I, wa I was riding without bar tape at the time. So four or five changes and I've lost, a, I would say, a kilogram off this bike. Yeah, the only problem was, usually I do my own bar taping. Um, I'm okay at it, but I wanted to have it finished well, but I noticed the shop, I, I went to the giant store, but it was closed in Sunchen. And I went to a specialized dealer and he snapped the tape and he didn't tell me either. So I got a big lump here in the handlebars and I didn't notice until I was riding home because it looked all nice. He did a really good job apart from that and snapped it in one place. I bought the tape, this is giant tape, and I took it to him and he fitted it and he charged me. <laughs> yeah, he charged me. I should charge him. Um, so yeah, I'm not happy with that, so I want to get new tape. Um, I think it kind of matches well, but uh, I'll probably get something else now. Um, yeah, so that's it. About four or five changes, lost a kilogram, and I'm really happy with it now. I'm before I was not happy riding this bike. I was always choosing my Cat X, but now uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, so I just need to do that. I need to get some new bar tape because that's bugging me. I can't deal with it, and it's uncomfortable when I am in the drops. And I just need to get a cover for this where I took out the you know the the cable for the dropper. I need like a blank cover for it. I, I'm just gonna have to contact Giant and see if I can get something from them. I don't know, because it doesn't look really tidy just like that. I wanna finish it well. But overall, I'm happy, really, really happy with this bike. And I just bought a restrap um, top tube bag. I'm loving that at the moment. I think that's really nice. I, I bought um, a handlebar bag, but it's just too bulky and, and, and with the computer mount and everything, it's in the way, it doesn't work. So I'm gonna just sell that.
I'm gonna sell it off. I think this is perfect for me. This is all I need. You know, just under, a, I think it's about 8.8 .8 of a liter of storage. That's great for me. That's all I need, you know, got some uh, jelly in there and things like that, tools. Um, what else is in there? Levers, those kind of things, you know what I mean? Um, and I bought these as well. I bought two of these, but as it's uh, winter now here in Korea, I don't need that much of a, dr you know, that much. I don't need the two bottles. So I got two of them, but I'm only using one. And these are the podium, um, like stainless steel. They're a stainless steel. I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, they're a metal bottle and they're really good. I, I'm, I really like these because in Korea, in the summer, it's scorching. You know, it can be up, it can be up in the mid thirties or even higher, sometimes close to 40. And even if you go out like I do at like 5.30, 6 in the morning, your drink is already warm by the time you want to have a drink of it. And it's just not nice. But in that, it, it keeps them really cool. There are some negative things I've noticed about them. Some claims that they've made, which I don't think are true. But, you know, generally I'm happy with that or those bottles. I'm happy with the bike. It's basically what I wanted. Um, and so I'm just happy riding it now. And I'm on, I'm 60 kilometers into a 100 kilometer ride today. I plan to do 100 kilometers. I'll have to anyway, because I'm, I'm about 40 kilometers away from my house. So I got no choice. Uh, but yeah, it's been a really nice chilled ride. I'm mostly on the road, but some off road. And so guys, that's it really. Hopefully you're not gonna slate me in the comments for upgrading my bike. Um, I do feel that this is how the bike should have come in my opinion. I don't mean with uh, elite wheels, but you know, with some carbon wheels and everything for the price. That's what I think should have been on there. Not that I want hookless giant wheels. I would have sold those, but I could have bought something else. Uh, you know, that kind of thing. So um, yeah. I'm really happy with it. If you have any questions about my setup or, you know, about what I'm running here, the bars, you know, obviously the bag and things, the seat post, whatever, uh, feel free to put it in the comments. I'd like to hear if anybody has any questions or what you think of it now. Yeah, what do you think of the bike now? Do you think I was wrong in changing the things? You know, I know many people would want to drop a post but for me, it's just not something I want and it's not something I need, you know. I'm m mostly on the road, like I say, and smooth gravel or, you know, some rough, roughish, broken concrete. That's it. But there we are. Lovely little area I've stopped here. I was trying to find somewhere to uh, take this video. And I love these little things. I don't know what they call them in Korea. But sorry for the noise of the leaves, if you can hear that, but the leaves have fallen. And so there we are. They have all these little shelters everywhere. So you can stop and you can lie down on them. You should take your shoes off when you go into them. Uh, but it's really nice, particularly in the summer when it's roasting and you're looking for somewhere to relax, you know, on a ride or something. Not, I never really take advantage of them, but they are nice to have and they are beautiful looking as well, I think. Anyway, this is just a bit of the scenery around me. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that was just a, a, an update on the bike. I'll give you a bit of a wider angle view of it. You know, personally, I, I really, I want to ride this bike now before I didn't want to ride it. And isn't that the whole point of it? You know, you, 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 you want to have a bike that you want to ride, otherwise you're not going to ride it. And that's how I feel about it or how I felt about it. But now it's completely changed. I want to ride it and I'm loving it as well. But yeah, uh, stick any comments uh, in the you know comment section below if you've got any questions or anything I'll be happy to answer them uh, thanks for watching as always and have a great week that's all I can say bye for now